want you to understand everything that you have today is your electric lights, your airplanes, your automobiles. You had nothing to do with them. You got them just being born in a country that had that technology. You got it for nothing. I don't think any of you here worked on the electric light or radio or television. Very few people. So you got all that for nothing. Does it hurt you? Of course not. They said, well, you don't want to give people things for nothing, do you? This kid said that to me at Princeton University. Fresco, you want to give people things for nothing. So I said, are you paying your way through college? He said, no, my dad is. I said, does that hurt you? This kid said to me, he still doesn't believe anybody ought to get things for nothing. So I said to him, well, as I understand your father is wealthy, if he dies, you want his money to go to the heart fund and the cancer fund, but not to you, because you don't believe anybody ought to get anything for nothing. He said, just a minute now. <laughs> Everybody wants things for nothing. You got the earth for nothing, you were born here, beautiful scenery, clouds, you didn't make any of that. Does it hurt you? Of course not. But when you're born in a polluted world with smog in the air and automobile pollution, say, I guess that's the way it is. It isn't that way. It's because the people in charge of government are totally incompetent. So what you really want is a world free, free of burden, pain, prisons, police, crime. Can we do that? The church has been trying to do it for years. They don't know how. They have no idea of how to say, be kind, be good. How do you do that? People are not educated yet. They should not have weapons of mass destruction. They don't know how to use it. They should have technology that enhances all human life. This is what religion tries to do. I would say that the Venus Project is the nearest thing to the brotherhood of humanity.